Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Wide open Wednesday on the Mike O'Mara Show. Greetings to one and all. There is nothing better than to be on the tail end of the death grip and have your your body starting to feel better. I don't want to get happy. You know I never do that. But uh, what I'm not happy about is wide open Wednesday. And I'm not happy about 12 weeks in a row, uh, Adrian, of Rick from, uh, from Concord, California. Is he a regular caller that does a- shtick? Let Adrian is in the studio today. Oh, Rick from uh, Concord, California. Hi, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. I know that name. What, what do you do? You do something every week. In a similar vein as a, the word yuppie, a, a whoopie is a well-off older person living a life of leisure. A whoopie. <laughs> Hey, I Mike. know I know whoopies down here, guys that don't work and uh, you know are, are done for set for life. I, I think I can me. save this call with a production element if you okay. will allow me. Word Rick of from the day with nickname Rick. <laughs> so he has his own jingle now. Ben McDaniel deigned it possible. Is to that his a... bit? So his bit is word well, of the Rick. day with nickname All right, Rick. Rick. I su- I succumb to this. Regular callers are accepted <laughs> if they're if they're contributing. You're contributing once again, Rick. Uh, the word of the day, please. The word of the day today is. Whoopee. And if I may use it in a sentence. Please do. The Belcher would say, Whoopee! But I'm not. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. (laughs) Thank you. Craig from uh, Arlington. Arlington, Texas, or Arlington, Virginia? Arlington. Arlington, Virginia. Arlington, Virginia, where Dick Robinson's, uh, Dick Robinson's Connecticut School of Broadcast used to be in Arlington. Arlington, Arlington. What can we do? I don't remember that. Okay, good. Hey, um, <laughs> <you're quite> a- <laughs> thanks for the side. Craig? Now? Can I talk yes, now? Yes, now. So, I'm sorry about the timing. Hey, um, your buddy uh, Shaq was on uh, Real Sports <laughs> with Brian Gumble. Oh, that's right. He's profiled, and I have, I've uh, DVR'd it, but I haven't uh, seen it yet. Is it a worthwhile it's- view? Oh, it's exactly what you were talking about. It's, oh, it's about so Shaq cool. being a pitchman. <laughs> that, so, uh, <laughs> that's great. I'm going to watch. I, yeah. I saw that he, he's like profiled on uh, Real Sports, which, by the way, if you don't check it out and you like sports like I do, that is a just an incredible journalistic endeavor. That is the, that's the journalism of sports, the best in the country, and uh, yeah. Brian Gumbel and company and do a great how job. long has Shaq been your pal? Because this guy just said your pal Shaq. My pal? Oh, he's been a God. fan. Yeah. I, I, well, he'd just, be a terrible. He'd probably be a terrible interview. Thank you uh, for the call. We appreciate that. Uh, he'd probably be a terrible interview. I would think so. But but he's just so good at doing that because if he was interviewed, he'd be like, going, uh, So how do you like doing the commercials? I like doing a lot. Uh, what do you? What was it like playing in the NBA? <laughs> it was really good. Uh, how's life? Are you recognized where you go? I recognize everywhere I go, Mike. Uh, that would be now. If you if you knew that going in, now I want to interview him. All I right. Know, that's that's crazy. Uh, all right, we got our lines locked and loaded right uh, now. Let's go to Keene from Middletown, Virginia. Hi, Keene. Let's call us from VA today. How are you? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Hi. Keen. Hey, I wanted to give Rob a follow-up from last week. Uh, he gave me a recommendation at King's Dominion to go clockwise. I will tell you that was a great suggestion uh, I went for the uh, uh, turkey leg, and unfortunately, too early in the season, not open yet for the turkey leg. They don't have, wait a minute, they opened the park? Time. Hold on, hold on, Keen. They opened the park, and they didn't have turkey legs? What the hell? That's un American. No, Are that's okay. It takes, tr- it takes two months to properly smoke one. Just remember, if you're listening, folks, and you're planning on going to one of America's great theme parks, King's Dominion. King's Dominion. Yes. Cedar Point Parks, Mike. It's a great amusement park called King's Dominion. Dayquil. In King's Dominion. Doswell, Rob Virginia. Spiewak suggests going around the park counterclockwise. No, no. No, that, no, no. What? It's clockwise. Clockwise. Oh, going clockwise. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd go clockwise anyway. Yeah. Where's no, the most, big tip with that? Most people go counterclockwise, and they start out Dude, down. I, don't, I disagree that most people go yeah. counterclockwise. Well, then why would Rob, the tip Rob, pay off? 
Rob, but again, the you're the best. <laughs> Why would the tip pay off? I don't know, Donald. <laughs> Why don't you tell me? Let me that's, tell you, that's, it's that's, the best. That's, that's it's Trump the biggest logic. tip. It's the greatest <laughs> tip. It's fantastic. <laughs> We have a trade war that we're winning. <laughs> was your tip Endicott Steel? Yeah, my tip was Endicott actually to put a tariff Steel. on the turkey leg. <laughs> Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Uh, let's go to Dustin from Buffalo. Dustin, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Good boy. Hey, Mike. Rob hey, and Hey, Dustin. Rob and Austin. Hi there. Hey, Rob. Why do you have, why do you have the, uh, such anger towards Wegmans? I That's did a, a great question. I, I did a great uh, rave out many years ago that I suggest you find because it has it was emotionally that is so driven. lazy. Why don't you? But I will it articulate to him now. it now. You want him to go through the archives? No, no, I will articulate it now. Show one thousand twelve. Uh, Rob did a. Uh, yeah. did a bit. I can't reproduce my thoughts, but look for them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're just hoping that Oscar can't reproduce. Period. So we all have our challenges. But oh, here's it. the problem with Wegmans. Wegmans does not respect you as a customer. Wegman, Wegmans oh. sees you as a rube. It starts in the parking lot experience. The parking lot is designed to be easy to get in and hard to get out. That's the Wegmans way. They're going to make you think that they're serving you, but they're not. Have you noticed the way the aisles are not? Just straight rows. It looks like a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Things start and stop, and there are stairways to nowhere. And things will just um, automatically make you, if you want to buy something as simple as a gallon of milk, you will have yeah. to go buy the olive bar and the right. cheesemonger and all mm. of this stuff that is designed to make you buy stuff and linger in the store longer Linger. than you want to do there. If you want to turn your grocery experience into a night at the theater, then for God's sakes, go to Wegmans because you'll kill three hours. But if you want to buy groceries, here's what you do. Do you know what a lot of times they'll do at Giant? They will have an end cap at the front of the store that has eggs and milk in it. Because ah, turning out to be a longer as, answer as a than courtesy, I on, that's for sure. As a wow. courtesy, that's what you want to do. They don't if they don't want you to walk the aisles like Wegmans. Wegmans Why don't is like you Belushi escaping. it up a little bit? Belushi it up a little bit. There's Wegmans right wants you to escape like you're in Paris and you gotta get out because it's World War II and the Germans are coming and you don't have any chance and all you can find out is a fruit cake fruit and you're gonna Can I do an impression of how ah! Belushi would do it? Okay, can I have That was really bad. Belushi would do it like that. If I want to go get some Elmer's glue, I'll go. <laughs> he started out strong, though. Well, very thank you, Oscar. Very I'm sorry I screwed up at the end. You flamed out. Yeah. No, what, Dustin, what do you Learned want? You have a best. terrible phone. What was your last thought? Um, when are you guys going to do a show up in Buffalo? Because we have lots of nice uh, theaters up here, like Shade. I will tell you this, Dustin. I, I uh, Even from way, way, way back during the Don and Mike show where we – uh, went up and did a live broadcast. I love the people yeah. of upstate New York. I love Buffalo. Good people. I've been to Buffalo Great for a interns. meet and greet up there. My best friend is from Buffalo and owns a Buffalo bar down here. I, I love Buffalo, so I don't know. You, there's always a possibility. You never know when we're going to end up. Memorial Day? Memorial Day. Thank you very much. Thank you for the call. We don't go to Wegmans. It. Let's go to uh, Jeff from Baltimore. <laughs> Jeff, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Baldick. Hey, um, I was just wondering if you ever got any resolution on the uh, license issue with Oscar with the age. Oh my uh, age! Yeah. Weird. Yeah, we, we, did we get did we get resolution on that? We did. There was got, photographic my proof. There was photographic proof posted on Facebook. Oh, oh there God. that he posted? No, that actually Hari Ginka uh, posted and trip. Uh, Hari Ginka is not Oscar, and I, I need true. It from. All right, when last we checked, and I am really glad you called Jeff because now you're reminding me. We were requiring we were requiring proof of date of birth via driver's license. Nothing could be simpler. And by the way, as uh, both my daughters at one time or another have proven, you can get anything on a driver's uh, not, license. Not this DC one, Mike. This oh, DC really? one is meant okay. to stop you at airports. Mm. It's got meant it? to, to make you feel like you're from a third world country or from gotta, the future. Got to turn him up a little bit, uh, Rob. He's his from Mike, the but, uh, future. Do that after. Why do you hate me, Rob? Uh, many reasons, Oscar. Too many to list here. Uh, this right, is a it, genuine license. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. How did they do that to your forehead? <laughs> what is he? Is he forty? Is he forty? Yes. His date of birth is three thirty nineteen seventy eight, and he's an organ donor. Okay. Very good. So, very good. That's it. Right. Are you sad? Are right. you satisfied, Jeff? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Thank All you, right. sir. Very good. That's it. We. Uh, I told you. Problem. It's been a Thanks ruse. For calling, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. We appreciate that diamond in the morning. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, nine o'clock. Been here the club. whole time. Yeah, I've been here the whole time. Right, we were. <laughs> Josh from uh, Washington State. You're on the Mike O'Mara show. Good boning. Good morning. 
Bold. I like everybody saying it this way now. This is going to. I like that you've slowed bolding. it down. And you've good really, bolding. I mean, really make it stick with good. God, I am bolding. perspiring like you would not believe. Uh, again it's with the like, fever? The, no, it's it's the death uh, throws of the virus. Yeah. There. It's He's leaving my it. body. Coming out of him. Hot shower, still schwitzing. Yes, go ahead, Josh. <laughs> hey, uh, I know you guys don't like to do a very political show on, on this side. But yeah, I was you got me on a the... good day, though, Josh. Let me just say, <laughs> you caught Daddy on a good day. I know we got political persuasions tomorrow, but I was watching my stories this morning, and we are we are in dire straits. Yeah, in you this showed up right, right now. today. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. Duh. All right, what, hello, Josh. What can we do for you? With this uh, ensuing trade war between the United States right. and China, do you think that's, that's going to affect Way the to go. Josh of, wins uh, the prize. Josh wins the prize for, for identifying the topic of the day. Yes, go ahead, Josh. I'm sorry. Do right. you think it's going to affect the price of turkey legs at King's Dominion? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. That's a good call. Uh, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, I, I tell you, if it was hogs, if it was pork products, yes. it'll affect the price of pork barbecue. Sure. Right? Yeah. I would assume yeah, that's and soybeans. Gonna, and liquor. And soybeans. Two-thirds yeah, yeah. of our exports go to China and soybeans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we have been in a little world. I'll talk about this Hedge. on Political Persuasions. I will not burden you on this show uh, with that. But we have been in a world more. Where, where the dishonesty and Boom. the lies and everything, it kind of just rolled off because it really wasn't affecting anything. Right. Now, the lack of knowledge... <laughs> And the lack of intelligence and all. It's starting to really bite us in the ass. Yeah. You're, you're witnessing that happening right now. Uh, let's go to Heather from Reston, Virginia. It is a Virginia phone day. Hello, Heather. Take it away. Hi. Um, I'm Hi. calling because I know that you like to get feedback on the audio quality of the podca- podcast. Yes, absolutely. Yes, of course. Good and bad. So I listen a lot of times in the shower. Mm. Oh. oh, hello. <laughs> really? And I just want to offer you some praise because I have run out of Michael Mayer shows occasionally because I try to always catch it on the day of, and I have to default to different podcasts. Mm-hmm. And you are always clear as a bell inside of my shower, but you're the only one. So I actually kind of sometimes save you for the shower so I don't have to shower alone. Yeah. This is the best call we've had all year. You know, Heather, uh, you know, we don't give out prizes. So, um, if I could, I would. You'd get a sh- you'd get a shower prize today. I-, I I'd send you a soap on a rope or something. I swear to God, what an incredible call this is. You have made my day, and uh, there's nothing that gives me greater pleasure than to flap my gums while you're getting clean. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Heather. God Holy. bless you. That is a beautiful call. Yeah, and I can uh, understand her point because after listening to this show, who would want to shower with Gilbert Gottfried? Yeah, that is for sure. Yeah. In Russia, uh, anyway. you wash soap. <laughs> in, in Russia, soap washes you. <laughs> uh, Steve, Sacramento, California. Good bull. Very early out there. Thanks for calling in. Good morning, guys. And I don't want to follow. All right, Steve. All right, all right hold on. Hold follow. on, Steve. Got to stop you for just a second. We have had several telephones. Several mobile telephones or regulars that sound like they are that you're talking to us from the bottom of your trash can at work. Yeah. I don't know what's going. Do you, are you on Bluetooth by any chance? I will take it off right now, sir. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Bluetooth. And this is a great lesson for other callers. Yeah. Don't give Let me us tell the you Bluetooth. Let me take tell you a moment. Bluetooth. That Bluetooth I'm, is a rotten tooth that should be pulled. Okay? It, I really my, should pull that. Sounds thing. more like brown tooth. We all have dental. Am I right, yeah. ladies? <laughs> it uh, is Sacramento. Go ahead. Oh, there you go, Steve. Now we can hear you. Hi. How are I, you? I'm sorry, guys. I was driving to work. I That's really early. don't want to follow Heather now. I feel horrible. I mean, who wants to follow a shower girl with soap on a rope? I wanted <laughs> yeah, that's to know. That's a tough one to follow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, right. I wanted mm-hmm. to know if you had seen the, the new documentary on Netflix, Wild Wild West, about the um, Osho and the commune they had out in Oregon in the in the eighties. It's like and it's called Wild Wild, Wild West. Uh, it Steve. just Wild dropped. Wild it, it's supposed to be very good. I've been hearing great things. It's what's, what's it, give us, give us a sentence. What's it about, Steve? It's about that uh, that the spiritual guru Bhagwan, also known as Osho, who who formed that commune in the eighties out in Oregon. Okay. That where they built their own city and okay. took over the town, took over this little town of forty people, and then so some of the members attempted to kill city council people and tried wow. to poison the town. You know, what's, you know what's weird about that, Steve? Thank you for the call. What's weird about that is it sounds like the uh, the plot of Far Cry 5, to be really honest. Really? I'm not joking either. Yeah, it sounds like that. And uh, at one point, 
Uh, sometime this week, Pony and I are going to talk about Far Cry 5, the, the brand new video game that's uh, very, very popular. And uh, I want to give you my unvarnished opinion. Unvarnished. Let's, uh, let's go to Mark from uh, another call from California, San Francisco. Hi, Mark. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. I, like Hi. Mike, am an old white man, so I have a landline. There you Question. go. Sounds nice Good and clear, Good for you. Mark. I love a landline. Mike, I was wondering if you would ever do political persuasions and take calls. Ooh. Um, yeah, I would. I, you know, it, it's it, the, the great challenge of taking phone calls. And uh, we're doing a new, by the way, we're doing another phone bit coming up uh, Friday, which is going to be Is It Just Me? Uh, where we have to set the table when you do this kind of a show. When, you're, when the show has a longer tail, you have to do that. I won't explain the details, but we have to let people know when it's going to be happening because people listen on the radio. They listen live online. They listen whenever they get a chance. That's the way this show mm -hmm. is consumed, so we have to kind of do it differently. Uh, you know, it's not like uh, doing it live uh, is going to generate the immediate call. So in order to do that, um, I'll, I'll set that up this week. I'll set that up this week and say, if you'd like to call in, uh, is there a chance, Oscar? Yeah. Could we, yeah, could we use the, uh, anyway, right? the yeah. same line and yeah. uh, do that? Uh, that's a great idea. I'll, uh, I'll do that, Mark. I, I wouldn't mind having a discussion because really, when it's me and Freight flapping our gums, you know, I mean, I have interesting things to say, but... Uh, anyway, you'll let's have go to help to... you with the verbiage. Um, the verbiage. Amer yes. America okay. first. Political persuasions is on now. Making yes. podcasts uh, great again. <laughs> right. Great. Great that's again. Right. Yes. Great again. Wanted, that's great. exactly great. how I want to phrase it. Uh, Jeremy, China. From, uh, Port... Call now. <laughs> where, where are you calling from? Are you playing from uh, from Australia, uh, uh, Jeremy? Uh, I am calling. Yes, I am. I'm calling from Port Douglas, Australia. Wow. Port Douglas, that Australia. The accent. What is the time of day well, there? I'm always I'm actually, curious. About it. it is about 11. It's just a little after 11 o'clock at night. Very good. Very good. So you're wow. wrapping up I'm, your I'm Wednesday. Actually from, right yes, we are. I'm actually okay. from Western New York, but we're here. And the reason I wanted to call is to thank the Make-A-Wish Foundation for sending us and our daughter here this week. Uh, my daughter oh, was uh, last year diagnosed with ovarian cancer at 16 no. years old. Oh. And we just want to thank them so much for sending us. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at the Southern Cross right now and can't imagine oh. anything better. How is your daughter enjoying the trip? She is having a fantastic time. We snorkeled all day at the Great Barrier Reef today, and it was spectacular. And how is she feeling? She's great. She is uh, over, just a little over a year fully recovered. Oh, and yes, is they doing all that. Okay, my God, days. that makes me feel great. By the way, uh, if you didn't mean to leave you hanging on that part, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. But that is that you know you made our day by doing it that way. And by the way, it, you know, <laughs> Make a Wish is uh, it, you know people probably have a misconception that the Make a Wish Foundation uh, takes care of kids that are uh, terminal. That is not accurate. It no. should be pointed out that uh, just yeah, like Rob's absolutely. son. When you go through treatment and you go through the hell on earth that is treatment for yeah. cancer as a child, nothing is worse. And the Make-A-Wish Foundation yep. does wonderful work for uh, families like Jeremy's by going to Australia. Rob, I know you yeah, wanted to Anyone who makes the journey is contacted by Make-A-Wish. And here's another thing about Make-A-Wish. Everyone yeah. knows about it, but they are the most sensational organization for not tooting their own horn. They yeah, just you never hear it about it. You never hear yeah. about it. You never hear about the celebrities that stop their busy schedule and make these wishes come true for kids right. that go through right. this hell. So if you have a few charitable bucks oh, you want to throw, I'm sorry you to hear that. The line. Sorry if you that. have a few charitable bucks and you don't know where to go, know the good that this organization does. That's great. That's, That's a I'm really so glad like the Illuminati, a, but for good. Yeah, it's scary a, stuff. A year, yes. a year in recovery is just fantastic. Oh, That's awesome. That's awesome. great. Uh, let's go to, uh, we've got to wrap this up pretty quick. we got a lot of calls this morning. We'll take more, of course. It okay. is Wide Open Wednesday uh, on the Mike O'Mara Show. Our number is 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673 on the Mike O'Mara Show. Let's go to Sean from Round Rock, Texas, and then we got to start the show. Okay. Hope it's a good call, Sean. Yeah, Sean, don't blow it. I'll do my best. No pressure. <laughs> okay. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. So I just got a couple of things for you. Uh, I have to, it's a, the point, I have to take notes during the week so that when I call in, I can remember what I wanted to talk about. So I'm like okay. doing my own Okay, now you've done the setup. Now get right to the right. point, Sean. Jump. This is not going okay. to be a good call unless you do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to know if any other P1s have this problem. When I'm typing a message on my iPhone and I start to type the word tomorrow, the autocorrect capitalizes the T and the M to make Tomo. Ooh. Oh, it's learning. 
Anybody have, else have that problem? Anyone? Show of hands? Right anyone? No. I uh, have written, in this room. I have yeah. written Tomo before. So, oh yeah, it goes Tomo. <laughs> it goes Tomo. That's great. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Tomo. I think he's Tomo, infiltrated. Yes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the he's going. Is- Tomo, hold on just a second. I, I want to comment on your comment. Thank you. Uh, Sean, uh, Tomo going a little bat ass on the social media rejection, though. I mean, yeah. Tomo doing the deep dive. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you see his posts about what he's doing to uh, get his archives off of Facebook, and he Tomos it because he's brilliant and he's got yes. the bigger brain than we do. Like, and then I'm going to, then I'm going to, then I'm going to uh, uh, put my, put my archive in a separate <laughs> folder, and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to call the people at Facebook. Then I'm going to go in uh, the, then I open up my settings and go to oh, deep side. dive archive three and then i put it in five sideways and then i do this he's like, trying like, to help people right. what i loved is what he's i think it was like and then delete your cash this is yes, most delete important your cash. most important than otherwise they will reach into you and they will take out your testicles yes sir right. that's it that's the way it will go so mean. i'm sorry is uh, I what is talk. your second point yes. Sean? <laughs> um so my second point is that i love the fact that uh you guys are have a nice regular schedule of broadcasting because I can uh, uh, catch you from the very beginning live almost every day. Awesome. And uh, that's my drive to work. So that's my morning drive time. And so basically you're my morning zoo. So what I need you guys to do <laughs> All right. is I need you to up, up the wacky quotient by about 18%, please. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Stay on the line because we'll go to break and I'll do this for you. Okay. I because you know, okay. simply because you're you're here right now. And by the way, I have to give credit to Sean. These are two very good calls. Good calls, yes. The Tomo thing and now the uh, morning zoo thing. I think that's uh, absolutely incredible, isn't? Don't you think, guys? I sure do. Ah, here we go. <laughs> yes. Quack, quack. <laughs> hey, Round Rock, Texas. Good morning. Yeah, going to be a beautiful day in the greatest state in the world. I see miles and miles of Texas. I know you do, too. Everything's bigger in Texas. Hey, I just checked it out. It's true. Nice. There you go. Well How's, that? How's that for your morning commute? I love you guys. Thank you very love much. You. Okay. Uh, on that note, let's start the show, Rob, and we'll take more of your calls after it's this. It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Did you do all these wrongs, Doctor? That is the Duomo scene from the Belvedere. All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Well, perhaps you'd care to lend us your view on this questionnaire, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. You were doing fine. You had been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You had established trust with the embarrassing truth about Migs. And now this ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. I'm only asking you to look at this, doctor. Either you will or you won't. You send that through now. Oh, Agent Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? No. I, I, I thought that your knowledge... You're so ambitious, aren't you? Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a robe. A well-scrubbed, hustling robe with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. What is your father dear? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the lamb? You know how quickly the boys found you, all those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars, while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the end. see a lot, Doctor. But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's... 
here's Mike. Because at the Mike O'Mara Show, there's nothing quite like starting your morning with a serial killer. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're live from the Pfeiffer Studios in our nation's capital. This is the Mike O'Mara Show, uh, a worldwide radio show and a podcast with loyal listeners who get it. If you're here, you're in the know. We are on air, on demand, heard 24-7 on the TMOS app. Get it now and get our show all day, every day. You can reach us especially today. It's Wide Open Wednesday. we got a full bunch of calls. Keep calling. It'll open up for you. 888-920-MORE. That's 888 the Michael O'Mara Show is on now. Hey, if you're not growing, you're dying, which is why Cornerstone First Financial is proud to announce that they are now licensed in Georgia. And uh, more states are soon to come. So whether you're in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, or Florida, or Georgia, Cornerstone is there to help you when you need it. If you're buying, selling, refinancing, all you need is Cornerstone First. They know exactly what to do. So even if you don't, you'll still come out on top. Here's a fact. Interest rates are going up. So all TMOS listeners need to act now to refinance, to take cash out, or pay off debt before rates go up even further. Cornerstone First Financial here to help. They can even figure out your best financial moves and get them done for you. So you save money. It's approved by Oscar Santana. He yes. loves Cornerstone. Oh, yeah. And you know we're cheap. And- and they're our housemates. They're 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 in the same building they we're are. in. They made Click it happen. their banner on our website or call Cornerstone First Financial 202-625-1221. Mention TMOS and receive a free appraisal at closing from Georgetown to Georgia. Personal attention for application to closing licensed in Maryland, DC, Virginia, Florida, Georgia. Pretty soon the world. Don't wait. <laughs> Now's the time to call Cornerstone First Financial and we thank you. Yay. Oscar, is everything all right? Lock, You're on the, uh, going the telly. On, on uh, the blower. Uh, yeah, we're getting um, we're getting a a gigabit a gigabyte upgrade for our internet connection. Wow. So um, that'll be a wow. thousand down and forty up. Mm. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. So wow. we should never have a problem like ever. Ten times that's that's we have. We are going to get so many illegal movies. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. Uh, okay, uh, well maybe the company that's doing that will be on uh, most stock tip of the day. By the way, the markets are in dire straits. At least before I came to. Uh, Tape this show. Spotify uh, is good, Mike. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's in your portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here he is Uh-oh. with with the stock tip of the day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's time for Mohammed Mo from Woodbridge. Mo, what is your stock tip of the day? FedEx FDX. <laughs> FedEx FDX, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. pretty good. Steady. Yeah. yeah, hit the jingle. This though. has been Mo's stock tip of the day. Thank you, Muhammad. Appreciate it, Mo. Have a great day. We appreciate that. All winners, uh, Mike. Yeah. Oh, I know this I'm person. Rich. There's only one. There's only one Marcus that I know in Vermont, and he's hey. up today, and he's engaged with the show. I saw him on Facebook. I, I see him on the line. Marcus Serta from Vermont. How are you, my friend? I am. Uh, I'm doing well, and I just wanted. I'm about to walk into a meeting, but I just wanted to quickly call in and say, look. Over the last two weeks, it's been uh, bloody hell in my life. But thank you guys so much for what you guys do every day because, again, it reminds me of not just why I listen but why I keep coming back because it is that hour of break from the S of my day um, in order to get a laugh. And I really appreciate it. And, Mike, I need your dates because uh, those Red Sox tickets are starting to come in. Okay, Marcus, I'll be in touch with you because I'd love to do that again with you. Another wine and dine. Uh, this time, 69. I pick the restaurant and, and my treat. We go to uh, we go to dinner on me since you provide the tickets. Uh, I'll uh, we'll do that and we'll get together. I'm going to be up there all summer, so uh, we'll do that definitely. All right, Marcus. Sounds great, and we'll, I'll have enough that we can take the whole family. All right, awesome. Oh. That's fantastic. That's he great, Marcus. That after I look said forward you were to treating. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, I hope your day goes well. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Thank you, Marcus. Feel better. Hey, I didn't want to pick on Marcus today. It sounded like he is having a Just rough a week. Joke. We all have that, rough so. days. Sure. You <laughs> shake okay. him why, off. That's right. Why don't you, why don't you Dust develop off. a soul? Why don't you develop a soul? Because I have gadgets. Creature. He has a soul full of gadgets. <laughs> a soul full of gadgets. Let's go to uh, <laughs> Derek <laughs> from Lewis. There, I got it right. Yeah. Lewis, Delaware. Right. I got it. I got it. I got the it. Girl, the pretty girls gave me a hard time on Facebook. I went, Lewis. Lou. The pretty girls. The pretty girls on Facebook. I'm such a rude. Uh, yeah, you're Derek, cheap, you're on the Mike O'Mara show. Hello. Mike, I think it's pronounced Boston, actually. <laughs> Not Lewis. Boston, Delaware. Anyway. Did you, anyway hey, hold on, um, Derek. Let me ask you this. Shut up for a second. Let me ask you this. Sorry. Were you counting on me saying Lewis, Delaware? 
Were you counting on that? Yes, and then, I, and then I disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you yeah. did, Mike? I you I... are the unexpected. There. Yeah. Yeah. See, I pay attention. Yeah. I learn. Thank you. Is there anything else we can do for you? Smart. You pain in the ass. I have a uh, a television recommendation for you, Mike. Oh, I'm ready. I want to hear it. I know you like the uh, the Master and Commander. Um, yes. Yes. It's a new show on AMC called The Terror. Okay, that's about I, the ship, right? Yeah, I just started it last night. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's generating a little buzz on Denies. social media, and I've, I've, I've people have actually been. Uh, the comments that I've read about this show are: it's not what was expected, but if you stick with it, it's really, really cool. Would that be accurate? It's well, I've gotten through the first two or three episodes, and so far, I mean, I love the Master and Commander show, so it's it's along the same lines. But yeah, there's a little there's little things here and there you didn't expect. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm why are you smirking? Why, Rob? Why are you smirking? I, why are you because smirking? he called it the Master and Commander show, like it's a variety okay. program. <laughs> uh, is it a, is it a is it a period piece or does it take place in modern day? No, 1847. Cool. And yeah, is it, has it got I the good flavor it. of that? Like it, it feels it's in like color. It, yeah, I like that. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. it yeah. makes. I said to my wife last night when I'm watching it, I said, I cannot imagine living in that time. It just looks, uh, everything just looks dirty and cold. No Wi-Fi. Well, I know, you know for what? a fact uh, it was cold. You know, can, yeah, Rob, yeah, if you, you take the next caller, I will bring up the Master and Commander uh, pep talk that he gives his crew. Oh, good, good, good. And, and then I will, and that'll that'll wrap up uh, Wide Open oh, Wednesday. I love that. So if you do that, let me let me just get cracking. Okay, Thank you very, very good. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Bob from California. Speak to Rob Spiewak. Hi, Bob, what's up? Hey, guys, it's so nice to talk to you guys. Hey, uh, Rob, a long time ago, uh, Mike answered a riddle, and he didn't never gave an answer, and I wonder if you could okay, give what me was, an answer. What was the riddle, sir? What is big and black with a skin pulled back? Hey, hey, no, 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 I'm sorry. I got to jump in here. What are you doing? No, okay, I'm sorry. Mike. I got I got I just hung up on him. You yeah, should, fine. and that was not Mike's riddle. Mm. It was a caller's riddle for Make Us Laugh, and uh, call me in the office if you want the answer. Yeah, we'll <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. Here I was trying to do a little I know, extra here you are work. trying to help out the listener, and what happens? Bob ruins uh, everything. All right, His timing was perfect, here. though. Well, it was pretty good. <laughs> and see, do you know the see, answer that gets to the Oscar's joke? blood flowing today. That's do you know it. the answer yeah. to the No, joke? I don't. I'll tell you after the show. You'll love it. Oh, I'll call I'll call you on, right. the, on the office line. Yeah, I'll go in the next room, <laughs> and you can call me there. Hello, is no. this Oscar? No. This is Hold Rob. On. If you want the answer, private message Rob. Yes. Uh, that's a uh, thank you for your. I'm on the uh, gram. Calls. Yes. Uh, I, we, we, I'm trying to get it. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. Uh, is this the type of pep talk I give Shannon once a quarter? What? Hold on. Uh, the master and commander pep talk to his crew. Yeah, it is. It's not quite as intense as what you do. Okay. It's a little right. softer, I think. All right, here There's we no W2s being held up. No. Or mor- mortgage notes. <laughs> Jingling of keys. Or turning on and off lights. wedding rings. <laughs> or. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or turning on the light, uh, the water and saying, see this water? It doesn't just come on. You think it's free. Yeah. You think there's an, uh, just an unexhaustible you, source of hot water. You think it just gets hot on its own? Right. There's a system mm-hmm. at work, and someone's got to pay for That's it. Right. Rob, do you have any uh, seafaring music? I can find you some. Yeah, give me All a right. second. I love this. <laughs> Creating on the fly. I've got it very That's good. That's like a nice I'm souffle got, being This because the guy got me all jacked up with that new uh, terror show that's on there now will you it's uh, called the terror you had heard of it already i hadn't even heard of it hold on let me just see not wild wild west but the terror yeah, it's close go. close oh, come on. you know can you <laughs> ever can you, can you help, ever um... remove the hack from your entire <laughs> being there is you know, a funny. segment of the population that'd be very disappointed can you bring up master and commander you know <laughs> how about all right turn one? it off i'll do it this way all right here we go uh, Mike O'Mara now doing my Russell Crowe from Master and Commander. <clears throat> That's fine. That's it. Are you, using, are you using Pirates of the Caribbean? This is the barrel off starboard uh, sequence from Jaws. Oh, from Jaws. I don't want it. <laughs> you don't? You're, you're destroying my mojo. Here. All right. Well, all right, then no do music. We'll do a, we'll do right. a drive. Now, after, after, here's all I request from Pony and Oscar yes. and uh, Rob. All right. At the end, we go, just go, hurrah, just a okay. big cheer okay, when okay. I put my fist up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and we are worth more to them undamaged. Their greed will be their downfall. England is under threat of invasion, and though we be on the far side of the world, the ship is our home. This ship is England. So, it's every hand to his rope or gun. Quick, I can't read it. God damn it, Mike! Oh, no, I can't so read it. God, I was I'm trance. sorry. I, wasn't... I can't. I'm oh, old. I'm was... getting old. I'm getting old. Let me, let's put the font as small as humanly possible. 
Let me just hear man. it. Man, right. I, like, I might like be a, sexually attracted to this man right now. A Marlon Brando right. hearing aid like he had in his last few movies. We could just feed right, the lines go. to you. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready now. Okay. I'm ready now. Right, Three, okay, two, ready? one, here we go. action. This is a good one. And we are worth more to them undamaged. Their greed will be their downfall. England is under threat of invasion. And though we be on the far side of the world, this ship is our home. This ship is England. So... It's every hand to his rope a gun, quicks the word, and shops the action. After all, surprise is on our side. Huzzah! Hey! 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 Smart! Yeah! Oh, best supporting actor to Matthew Bloom. <laughs> you are the worst pirate ever. <laughs> yeah, we do that again. Can... Yay! <laughs> yeah, terrific. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just like everything. Okay, hey, extra ration of rum for Pony Boy Matt Blue. Thank you very much. Let's take a break. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well done. I love it. In the latter years of the 2000 aughts, a crack team of disc jockeys was thrown off the air, innocent victims of a format flip. These men escaped to the darkest reaches of the internet. Still wanted by their fans, they survive as podcasters. If you need laughter and no one else can help, and you have a smartphone, maybe you can download The Mike O'Mara Show. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's The Mike O'Mara Show. www.mikeomarashow.com That is a big effing win. I knew you would love oh, it. You man. love the A-Team. I want to say thank you to Alan Gigax. Coach, thanks for sending that in. Give me a Knight Rider one, an Airwolf Sorry, one, lads. everything. Yeah, right. Please. Sorry. Thank Sorry. you. It's every man to his box of Kleenex, <laughs> quits the word, and snots the action. Uh, welcome back that to the Mike Berry Show. studio is your nose. <laughs> yes. Uh, good oral health impacts your overall health. So uh, why aren't you brushing your teeth properly, huh? No. Why? 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 Be smart. Start brushing better today. All you need is Quip, the company that's refreshing the way people brush their teeth. Quip is an electric toothbrush that packs premium vibration and timer features into an ultra-slim design at half the cost of bulkier brushes. Rob and I love our Quip, oh, don't we, Rob Spiewak? Every morning, first thing I go to, I floss and then use the Quip, and it's so great about it is that it has this magical thing that just sticks to your mm -hmm. mirror. It takes up no space on your counter. Boom, bam. It stays clean, stays nice. It's right there when you need it. Go right now to getquip.com slash TMOS. Thank you, Rob, to get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. Listen again. Your first refill pack is free, F -R -E -E, at getquip.com slash TMOS. That's G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash TMOS. Support TMOS by supporting Quip. It will make you smile like never before. And we thank you, Quip. I love Quip. I, uh, I have to just a quick throwaway that I wrote down last night. Yeah. I'm down here, and uh, we, we talk a lot about real estate in southwest Florida. There is really, outside of the Hertz Rent-A-Car Corporation, which has a headquarters literally in my backyard, right. there really is not a tremendous amount of industry down here. There's not a lot of businesses that are exploding that it's just not happening but there's a tremendous amount of real estate that goes back to the 20s i mean florida is a state that was driven right. on real estate tourism yeah exactly and they're talking about the fact that with the uh, economy being the way it is that this is not necessarily sustainable because the basis for a lot of the real estate here is people getting a vacation home as an investment property or a second home and it's just not happening as much as it used to, but they don't know. But what they do sell down here, and they sell it everywhere all around the country, and it always annoys me, maybe because I'm a modern family person, is the 55 and older community. <laughs> the, the, the houses and the housing that is designed for what really is ultimately an incredibly narrow window of survivability when it's you're sad. talking about it. It's really it's sad. It's extremely sad. You know, it's my mom lives in one. And uh, it came in handy when she lost her husband because it was right. basically the, the house is on one level. The doors are a little wider. Ah. And it's designed for all stuff. like that. There is an upstairs. There ingress, is a egress. Yeah, See, now I knew nothing about that. I thought. Plan community. It was, I thought it was simply we don't want to be bothered by children. Well, That's I think I there's thought. some of that. But the thing is, is that their neighborhood actually connects to a neighborhood, like a strip of townhomes. That does not have that regulation. It's, yeah, but it's so like, it's Johnny, don't ride your bicycle over there, or uh, Mr. Johnson well, will throw his teeth at you. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? It's, 
Watch out for Tuttle. I, I remember when we were thinking of putting my mom in Leisure World before she went crazy and said she'd never go. <laughs> Probably one of the original ones, right, Oscar? Yes. Way back when. Oh. I mean, one of the oh, first yeah. uh, of its kind. I I was uh, such a little rube when I was a kid when we when we moved, we would just go looking for houses with my parents. I remember my dad. Fun. He he, he teased us for ten years about moving and finally moved. Uh, but we would drive. This is the day. This is the day. Let's look another model home we will never live in again. Look, there is wax fruit on every table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we would drive by, and, and just for those out of, of the area, there is a huge globe that's made out of wrought iron outside of Leisure World. With a fountain, right? With a fountain. Yeah. By the way, do I sound clearer now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did Thank you, you expectorate? Yeah. No. <laughs> No, I was talking about the little sound in the background that I took care of. That's Thank you. What we do every day. All right, go ahead. So <laughs> we, um, I said, I said, oh my god, I can't believe the U.S. Open is played in Leisure World because because <laughs> <laughs> where they play the U.S. Open has these huge globes, Same thing, right? Right. So I remember I was like, Dad, can we just one day go and watch a tennis match in there? And he said, I. And I said, Yes. Next to the Burger King and the old folks giant, giant. in Rockville. Yes. Yeah. And he says, Oscar, ahí van a morir. No banana who got a tennis ahí. And he and in, Spanish, and, and in English it's they go to die there. They don't go play tennis there. <laughs> they should <laughs> carve that on one of the rocks. <laughs> Let me tell you why I, I decided to talk about this. First of all, I've never been a fan because I think it's uh against what uh you talk about the disin disintegration of the modern family. Right. And the fact that uh, now my mom went to an assisted living facility, which I don't count in the same vein as a 55 and older community. There are people that go into assisted living uh, that make that choice uh, because they are they, they want the convenience of it. But the 55-plus communities are, it, it ultimately to me is we don't want to be bothered by little kids. And, we, and, and if something happened in the family, you couldn't have like a little crumb cruncher live there. And because I'm modern family and yeah. there's some people that just adore Having my son here, and then there are other people that just kind of look at him. They judge like we're, him. Like we're, like we're the uh, square peg in the round hole. I'm probably a little more sensitive, but a commercial comes on last night. Right. And I stop it. I get my wife to come out of uh, the kitchen. <laughs> and, and I said, Carla, come here and take a look at this for a second. There's a 55 and older community that they're selling the crap out of down here. And it's it's always like, by the way, they love their Italian names. You know, they, they love their names like, like Miranda and Fellatio and whatever. You know, all these uh, <laughs> hey, all these I, names I they have. Mm. The Venetian. All, the, yeah. all these Italian names they, they have. And, uh, you know, it's like Caspian at uh, Bonita Bay, the 55 and older resort community where you can live. And so they're selling the fact that they're. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to. Follow to you. <laughs> a 55 and older community that will be vibrant until you die. No. So they, 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 come, they have the commercial come on, and I said, come here for a second. I know I'm older, and I know this. I'm the demographic that they're actually speaking to right. in these commercials, but take a look at this ad. And I said, see the two women in the pool? And I said, and she goes, yeah. I said, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, under 40, right? She said, oh, God, yeah, under 40, probably 35. I said, okay, take the, 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 the one guy. He's got gray hair, but, but that, it, it's, it's definitely under 50, right? And right. she said, oh, under 45, easily. He's just got uh, salt and pepper hair. So they're, they're, they're selling tricking their, you. Th they're selling their 55 and older community where these farts don't want to be bothered by children, uh, and they're using younger models they to, uh, to sell that. They cheated us. And you I said, that's, that's false advertising. You hire a 55 and older. You know, you yeah. want to show somebody, show somebody sitting there you know, on their front no stoop with their pendulated stomach hanging over their balls and, and have them you know, going, meh, meh. The majority of people that own Ferraris are not. The, these Italian models that are in the I their just 30s. want truth in advertising, yeah. Oscar. I want to <laughs> see you if you're going to sell pool. that community, show it. Lincoln MKZ pulling out of it and getting T-boned by a pickup truck. That's <laughs> I, I, How about some truth? And then a cut, to a, shot in like a cut to a shot of George Siegel in a jacuzzi. <laughs> now oh that's true. That's right. Yeah, it was just weird. And I went back and I watched it again and again. I said, yeah, these my first of all they're 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 hot. And they're they're and they're running like in one pieces. They didn't put them in bikinis. They weren't stupid enough That's to do right, that. Right. But they're running there and then you see their two male model friends uh you know they're having a glass of wine. They're always drinking wine. Of course. They're always wine. They sell the wine big time. They're what all they, sitting if there. If they really know. want to sell houses there, Mike, what they need to show is the kid catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang.
<laughs> walking the streets, <laughs> capturing young children, Hello, putting children. them in cages, <laughs> and taking well, them away like a dog the way, pound. <laughs> you know, hey, can I request that for the opening of tomorrow's show? The kid catcher? The kid catcher, Absolutely, please. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, if it, you've never, yeah, go ahead. Is I'll it too much to, to and I, look, I don't have any perspective except for what I've seen in yes. Florida for these planned communities and leisure right. world. But the way I understand it is that you go there after your kids have left the nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's course. probably right? yeah. exactly what when it's about. When you downsize. But, you, but, but my feeling is that uh, in traditional... You know, I, I You're the outlier. My, You've been married I, three I'm times. You're definitely the You're outlier. your third wife, I, I, yeah, fourth so, home. You know, there's a lot going Thank on you. in your life. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a great uh, thumbnail uh, Anyway, let, let me make my <laughs> You got some on your nose? got a little something on my nose. The thing... I, I am an outlier. I give you that. But I sure. have to say this. In my vision of America, which uh, was formulated by watching the Waltons when I grew up. Yes. And you know what? That so show sucked. But no, stop it. it did. I'm making a point here, okay? okay? Yes. We're not doing TV criticism right now. We're talking about my formative years. Talking about Mike. Right. My comedy was formed by watching the Groove Tube. <laughs> my uh, love of family was formed by watching the Waltons. You had grandma, you had grandma, all the, everybody living in one big giant house, yeah. and and that is the disintegration of the fabric of our society, which I think in large part is contributing to where we are today. Mm -hmm. Our lack of compassion, our lack of love for our fellow man, our divisiveness politically, all of these things can point to that. If we all lived in the same house, it'd be a different story. I'm you down still for do that, what Mike. you want to do. I'm down for that. Yep. I, I, I tell guarantee Shannon you're going to do it. I guarantee because oh. you're. I, I guarantee uh, Mama Santana is going to live with you. In only I've been, at some point I've in your life. I've been trying to get Shannon to move for the last three. To only. I said we got it. This 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 money pit. It's destroying us. Yeah. Will you move my mom to the basement? We'll take over the master bedroom. Would, would well, Mama Santana be? Uh, she, yeah, amenable she would to be that? so happy. You'd was, have a giant master bedroom oh with a God, nice big we'd have bathroom. A big house paid for. Yeah, Is we Shannon did the one it. that's balking at this? I can't imagine she, why with the relationship she has. She doesn't with her want to move to the burbs. I said, well, get ready, lady. She can Unless be you get another can't income. She, can't that's she all be unemployed? She can be unemployed in the suburbs, though, right? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the same way she is in the city? <laughs> I said, well, if you want to live in the city, you got to start earning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, in the, in the you know, well 55 said. and older communities to me are are just a uh, monuments to selfishness. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's I, the I agree with you there, Mike. I didn't know and where you were going, but I agree with you there. By the way, we should point out that we moved my mom into her place when she was 90. She stayed yeah. in the home, and uh, it, it creates nostalgia. You know, Rob lived with his grandfather, grandfather until he passed. Yeah. I mean, it's traditional. Don't you feel like you 100%. benefited oh, from that? Not just me. I love the fact that my kids had serious time with their great grandfather. Yeah, because and then they wouldn't have had that if no. he wasn't in the house. No, I mean and even if you visit, it's not the same as cohabiting. You also keep them young. Yeah, it yeah. was. And it was not young. to get too heavy, but my single greatest regret is that my career was not uh, closer in to New England. my mm -hmm. family because yeah. I, I would have seen more of them, and uh, they certainly would have been more engaged with uh, my daughters. Would have been more engaged with my mom, and I re right. I'll regret that for the rest of my life. But you know, with modern families, you have to kind of do what you do. But kids, grandparents, everybody. I think the more that everybody is together in that in that world, the better it is. I agree. And, and, and it just makes us more human. That's that's all I wanted to say. And don't put 55 and older community ads on with 35-year-old models running around with their, their one pieces. It's it's not fair. They're, they're, you're cheating. You're, you're deceiving the old people. Mike. You're making them think they're actually they're hot young people when they're not. They're a bunch of people with scabs on their foreheads. Skin cells, baby. Yeah, there you go. It's wonderful. Uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back with more fun and more thrills. You're listening to The Mike O'Mara Show. Hi, everybody. From American Public Media. Uh, yes, things are moving along at the Mike O'Mara Show app. Here's the latest news. Everybody's busy since the new update. Rob and Joe are baking their delicious homemade comedy biscuits. Oscar and Todd are out back behind the Tesla shucking corn and talking tech. Rob and Katie just finished whitewashing a fence in front of the Cake and Cookies broadcast shed. 
Gary Stein just sold a t-shirt, and Tony Perkins at his mercantile store is doing gangbusters, and Marcus Serta is making sweet love to Steve Mermelstein in the Omerica Sex Dungeon. Yes, it's all well at the app, especially with the new TMOS Live feature. Now you can stream the show live as it happens, and there's a classic TMOS at your fingertips 24-7. Make sure you download or update today. That's the news from the TMOS app, where everyone's phone is just a little bit smarter. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Beachbody On Demand. Springtime is here, so beach time is around the corner. And luckily, all you need, Oscar Santana, is Beach Body oh, On yes, Demand. Yeah. It is working for you, is it not? Listen, I'm on the 21-day fix. I am on day 20. I started yeah. this yesterday. A little sore, but I... Beautiful part about it, I've done this before to bounce back. Mm. I will be the person I was when I got married in October within 21 days. I can't wait. Mark my words, mm. one less chin. Beachbody On Demand, a streaming service that gives you instant access to super effective workouts that you can do anywhere. On the road, doesn't matter, 24-7. No. Hundreds of workouts for all fitness levels, ranging from bodybuilding to weight training to cardio to yoga, even dance workouts. Workouts as short as 10 minutes that don't require extra equipment. In the time it takes you to drive and park at the gym, you could be finished working out. Use your computer, your smart TV, your tablet, your smartphone, your Roku, Apple TV, Chromecast, more. Uh, it's the best part. Here's the best part. TMOS listeners can try it absolutely mm -hmm. free. And uh, Oscar has loved it. You will, too. Stop paying I for your gym membership. You're not going. Do it right. at home. Do it at home. Well you'll, well, you'll do it when you have a moment. I really want you to try this service because it'll make you feel better, I promise. Our listeners can get a special free trial membership when you text 303030, uh, TMOS to 303030. That's access to this entire platform for free. All the workouts, all the nutrition information and support, totally free. Again, just text TMOS to 303030. 30. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope Thank you, you uh, appreciate that. It's what we just give and give and give. That's all we that's, do. Uh, that's that's what we do. I'm reading all the uh, Jack Sparrow, uh, Jack Aubrey lines from uh, Master. Oh, please, some oh, more. Oh, you know, if you want to do Jack Sparrow too, that's also fun. I don't. I don't do uh, Johnny Depp. It's not in my repertoire. Thank do, you. Well, much. he has many different voices. You could do the uh, the Wonka Depp, which is different than say the Depp of uh, what's eating. Gilbert oh, you mean Grape. like from uh, Charlie yes. Dallas? Hi, little girl. Yes. How are you? <laughs> That's my Willy you Wonka. Do yeah, that was horrible. The you know? depth that throws wine bottles. Pre-divorcee. Oh, that. Oh, crazy depth. Yeah, crazy. That's depth. Real that was life crazy depth. Yeah, he was like yeah. slamming, slamming things around. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, really happy to report that I am uh, recovering from my little death grip. Mike, Carla we is... lit candles for you and everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It worked. Uh, I still have it, but it's not where it was. I got outside and uh, hit the egg yesterday and felt great doing it. I will. Do the same today, and I think the sunshine, the vitamin D helps me. Carla and is And you're maybe building up a tolerance to the poison. <laughs> yeah, I wonder about that. I, I do, too. By the way, the Cocoonville report yes. uh, that I got informally by talking to the guys that work over there is that multiple respiratory infections here at Cocoonville. Sure, now, it's going to be on 60 Minutes in three weeks. There are two, uh, there are three things going, uh, uh, theories about this. One your average little death grip where things go around. You know, we had the flu this season sure. and all that. Uh, other people are talking about, they have a thing called Red Tide down here. Have you guys ever heard of that, where they have the Red Tide? Uh, it's Once a, a month, right, the, for about four days? Oh, God. Gross. That, yeah, is, that is really... Un gross. Pony, why? You know, I, I, you, you, I don't know. Pony just keeps today? passing me these problems. notes. Yeah. That's, he's God, a bad, I, bad I, man. You know, I, I mean, really. <laughs> that's right. That's Rob that said that. Boo him. That's your buddy Rob. Boo him. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Come on. That's Rob Spiewak. Yeah, that's Rob Spiewak over there. Yeah, yeah. Send the letters no, attention, that. Rob Spiewak. It is Thank an you. algae plume right. that comes off the coast, and it's nasty. Oh, yes, you've told us about this. And it gets up this. on the yeah. beach, and it gets into the air, mm -hmm. and some people that come down to beach areas uh, get this if you're in a coastal area. And, they're thinking, and then the number three thing, and a couple of people are – speculating about this and it's so funny because it's right down the line between people that are curmudgeons and people that are like yeah 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 whatever you know mm -hmm. we're out there you know they're 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 mowing grass dead grass yesterday kicking all this crap up and sure. we're out there going i don't think it's that <laughs> so i will probably never know but uh do you, you have know, water they, features on your golf course like lakes and stuff like that 
We have ice sculptures. <laughs> now you're just being silly. You, uh, well, that's what you are every goddamn day, so I'm just trying to counterpunch a little bit. Is it water hazard? Okay? Four yeah, days but, a month. You know, water hazard, I guess, but I mean, the water feature would be more of a real estate yeah. term. Like, My like, like a fountain? <laughs> uh, like a fountain? Because also you can, get, you can get algae booms or blooms in uh, water, especially on golf courses, because of the fertilizer runoff. I used to know a girl that had a water feature at American University, oh, but it's a really, really long story that uh, I don't want to go into right now. Yeah, uh, you know, there were, I tell you, there, were, there were, one night we had like three guys go up from the terrace to the fourth. No, anyway, I, um, but yeah, but do, was, is there? Uh, do you have algae trouble on the lakes on your golf course? Yes, because the fertilizer runoff gets in there and the algae goes crazy. Yes. So yeah, when that it's, rots, it's that's chemicals, not good it's everything. I, it's got to be blue. because even when the, um, whatever company comes to my parents' house to treat the lawn, mm. they put a little flag that says "Not safe for pets." If it's right. not safe for pets. Not safe Probably for not us. Probably not safe for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On a large, and they've got to, I can bring one of the signs in right now. I can go outside and bring one of the signs and show them to you on my front line. The but look, I live here. That's it. We all have something He's else. He's not going to stop people, playing golf. No. Yeah, what about the people that live in the golf communities next to Chernobyl in Russia? You know, I mean, they have to, uh, you know, the 55 mm. and older communities. I understand there the golf ball in Chernobyl. you. They do it. It's you know, 33 uh, and older. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, different range. <laughs> here's the good news, though. <laughs> They're all leaving. They're all heading out. They're kind of giddy about Tis it. They're the kind of like this. Yeah. And I have found that people are uh, being a little kinder this year to me. I'm actually getting people saying, oh, you know, like I was leaving yesterday. It's like, no, come on. I, I'm going to be heading out tomorrow. They, like one of the guys that I butted heads with more than anybody. No, sit down. I'm heading out. Come on. Like that. I said, okay, take care. And I, I can't help myself. I just can't. Yeah. I cannot help myself. So I shake his hand. Oh, well, we'll see you next season. Don't forget, vote Democratic for that election in November. He's oh, like, ah. Wow. And they're all kind of hitting me, going, ha, yeah. I said, okay, how's it working for you? Anyway, so I, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a more pleasant. They know who I am, and I know who they are, and it has. I, I look, I bitch a lot, you know that, but yeah. it has evolved to a point where I, I don't want to get happy. I, don't. you know, that's the last thing I want to do. But I'm having more days that I am content with these people. I mean, I'm talking about my mates. I'm talking about my boys. Right. I'm having more days that I'm content with them than days that I want to stab them uh, in the eye with a knitting needle. That's, that's great. That's the way I look at it. And so just it's in time for them to leave and you can miss them now. I, I don't. I wouldn't go so far as that, but it will be fun to greet them next year Absence when they come back. No, makes this the heart year grow fonder. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's okay. And it's you know, okay. and to I'm be okay fair, you're that. cutting out Who's too. Who's not making? Bit, right? He's not cutting out. Yeah, well, yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they're leaving yeah, later on after they've I'm left. Later on. Here's something else, though, and this is probably just the way my mind works. I wish that I could be. Oh, this is bad. I'm a baller for this. No, I'm gonna get in trouble if I. A say shot collar. A little, little bit, bit taller. taller. Yeah. yeah. No, I wish that I could be more excited about going up to see my family. Oh, I wish I could be more excited about it. No. Well, I'll say this about me, Mike. I'm just going to be, I'm going to have months of, of just being diminished. Let and, me say this. You know, being oh, the little no. Michael again and I'll uh, being say this called ab- Michael by everybody, which is going to piss me off. I want to say something way. about me. This is not you. This is yes. me. When we have a big family get together and I go, there are some people I'm very pleased to see. And mm-hmm. there are some people in my family that I don't care if I ever see again. But- the magic is of them all being together. You must take the good with the bad. That's about me. So sometimes you just need to focus I on just spending don't time be with the hurt. people you like. I don't well, want my it's, feelings it's, to be hurt. I don't want my happen. wife's feelings to be hurt. And I certainly don't want, and I'll tell you, all bets are off if my kid's feelings are hurt. Well, you know. If he gets treated meanly, uh, then I'm not going to like that. Bully if they bully him. Yeah, by the way, this, could be, this, this is my hang up from being a little kid. Yeah. This is my hang up from being a little kid. But, but just any psychologist this... will tell you your feelings can only be hurt if you let them hurt your feelings. I know. I and know. I, but, but I that, know it's you know, also deep in your DNA. And that's why I hate psychologists. Thank I know. You very it's much. deep in your DNA because it's always yeah. been that like, way. I, and, uh, just briefly, I, I uh, had the opportunity to meet, meet a performance coach uh, yesterday. And he actually works with the uh, Boston Red Sox. By the way, it's showing today in your broadcast. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And. Do you have an appointment with him? No. He actually okay. came to do a show at Podcast Village. He was a guest for another show. Okay. But the connection for um, the Red Sox was that I sat there. I said, can you tell me a little bit about your background? He said he used to work with uh, special ops and military and work on the psychological okay. side. And that transformed right. into sports in a certain manner. And he said, you know, people that let themselves get hung up on certain things. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking about Mike. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Like, 
Thank you. <laughs> like, I appreciate it. They, We're thinking about yourself. They, they preconceive their own destiny. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you <laughs> if you think something's going to happen in Maine, you're going to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so in, in order, so I'm supposed to not think about these. You things. have to you have to think in a positive manner, and 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 believe that you're going to have a great time. And you will probably you're you can psych yourself up. For yeah, it. you can you you can actually psych yourself out of having a bad time. Mm-hmm. Yesterday at Podcast Village, I met a guy. Do who you want to hear a clip from what was oh, it? Just give his first name. Give his first uh, name. Charles. 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 Let's uh, let's uh, shall we listen to Charles? This yeah. is Charles. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. Charles Hartman. Charles Hartman. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to, and the first and last words this out of Oscar's your filthy sewers will be coach. sir. Do you maggots understand that? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you never know who's going to walk into Podcast Village. Fingers are flying today. Always on, always on, boys. Creating the creating the magic. That's what I'm doing today. Uh, love me the YouTube. Anyway, we'll take a break and uh, we'll come back with more fun. I'm re- you know what? Let me change. I'm really looking forward to going up there. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> we'll be right back with more fun on the Michael Mary Show. Who's your man on this? I'm Maddie, and this is my internship. I experience it twice a week at the Michael Mara Show. As we know by now, methamphetamines, even with the prescription, are banned in Japan. While this strange law prohibited Ponyboy from traveling overseas, I found some other weird laws that would keep other members of the TMOS gang from traveling abroad as well. Unfortunately for intern Jessica, frowning is found unacceptable in Milan. Oscar probably has no interest in Liverpool, where women are prohibited from walking around topless, unless she sells exotic fish in a store. In 1962, Germany outlawed tater tots, so you won't be seeing Rob Spiewak there anytime soon. And Adrian Garcia probably should just stay in D.C. If these laws don't apply to you, then you're ready for a great experience abroad. Luckily, the TMOS app works around the world to give you the latest episodes of your favorite podcast. Be sure to download all your favorite episodes to keep you laughing everywhere you go. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. It's the worst time of the year. It's snowing in April. Your delsum is ineffective. The air hangs heavy with the fetid odor of Roundup, and strange men are using your shower. What will you do? What will you do? Well, ass face. How about the TMOS bonus show? The bonus show is an extra hour of TMOS comedy each and every week that will change you from a very wary and scary Gary into a perky perkin. Ha ha. Buy a t-shirt. La la la. Do the hustle. <laughs> Just go to MikeOmeraShow.com and click the bonus banner, and it makes a great gift. Spread some cheer, bonus show style. Get happy by giving back. You'll get access to all our bonus content, and you'll be helping TMOS. It is truly a win-win. So please quit sucking, and uh, and we thank you in advance. And on a serious note, yeah. uh, we need you to put the pedal to the metal with our bonus subscriptions, people. Please. We're always looking to upgrade and uh, make the show bigger and better and more successful for you. So uh, do it and do it today. That's my serious little message. Now on to the news. News! news. I have to preface this news story by saying, please, to one person in the room, refrain from hack, politically incorrect humor. Let the story speak for itself. You may be compelled to laugh. If you do, try to keep it down to a dull roar. I led with this simply because I thought it was an important story. Okay. Are you sure you can handle this? Yes, Pony, are you sure? Yes. Okay. No. Vern Minimi Troyer was hospitalized Monday night after a friend called the police to say he was drunk, extremely upset, and suicidal. Mm. TMZ says he's being held for 72 hours for evaluation. His people put a message on his Instagram saying, quote, asking you to keep Vern in your thoughts and prayers. He's getting the best care possible and is resting comfortably. Uh, Here's the quote. Appreciate the support from family, friends, and fans around the world. Vern has struggled with alcoholism for years. He was hospitalized last year right around this time and eventually checked himself into rehab. Thank Mm. you, Rob. We wish him the very, very best of luck. The very best. And now my head is going to explode. Okay. (laughs) Colin Farrell has checked himself into rehab. Oh, no, it's again? Rehab Wednesday. What? Uh, now, but supposedly it's just a preventative measure. I think people do this sometimes. He's been sober for 12 years, and his people insist that he's not drinking again. His rep says, quote, he worked back-to-back projects and just needed a break. 
He's been sober 12 years, and I wanted to do this to make sure he stays that way. He's taking some me time and doing a tune-up and a reset. This was all his idea. Colin finished a production on two movies, the Disney live-action remake of Dumbo and Widows, which also stars Liam Neeson. According to reports, he's at uh, the Meadows Clinic in Wickenburg, Arizona. So I guess he goes in for a tune-up. I guess if you're really mm. somebody who has benefited from rehab, you uh, oh, you go yeah. back to get tuned That's up. Why a people go bit, to meetings? Know? I guess. Right. Yeah. I don't right? know. I don't yeah, know. I'm not sure whether that was the same uh, place where Vern went. Stop it. Mm. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> golfers have been complaining about the increasing amount of heckling where fans try to disrupt their game by shouting stuff out while they're swinging. I've talked about how yes. I hate this. It's usually drunk people, and it's obviously very frowned upon. So, security is being ramped up at this weekend's Augusta National, and according to reports, the staff has actually been given a list of sayings that are prohibited, and one of them is the Bud Light catchphrase, dilly dilly, the same one we use at the Mike O'Mara Live Show, everybody, dilly dilly. Uh, Fans who shout dilly dilly or any other phrases will be removed immediately. And by the way, at Augusta, now that my wonderful listeners were generous enough to send me to that fabulous tournament with my wife, I will tell you, they don't mess around. You can't run, you can't shout, you are removed. And you're removed immediately. And you're not removed violently, but you are removed. I'll tell you why it's not violent. Because there are enough dudes, big guys in uniform that surround you that uh, you don't do that. Uh, we'll we'll dilly, they have not, and by the way, dilly, they, dilly, they dilly, have not dilly, released dilly, dilly. the rest of the list. Really? So, so it's like in a there, game. Oh, it's wow. great. It's yeah. great. And by the way, there's beer there. You can get tuned up if you want to. It's perfectly okay. What you can't do is bring your cell phone in. What you can't do is shout you to man or get in the hole or any of that crap. And it makes for an absolutely stupendously pleasant afternoon of sports watching if you happen to be a legitimate fan of the sport which i am so i'm all for it on this particular case i wish they did it everywhere it would be fantastic i hate the guys that know they're on tv and they're not they're not rooting for the guy that hits the ball they want to have their own voice yeah. heard on television jerks i think it's sad <laughs> that uh, Vern troyer won't be there this year don't think so he's in rehab right prayers <laughs> blessings according to a new study uh It's harder to lose weight now than ever before. Why? Because of all the sweet, seductive technology we have at our disposal. Things like Netflix and Hulu are keeping us on the couch, so we're moving around less. I don't know about this. Television's been around for a long time. Everything all right? What's going on? Don't. I just passed a note to my brother. That's all. Had to get it out. Well, now I have to share with the class. No, you don't have to. (laughs) Yes. I hope you brought enough for everybody. Did he give you a Vern Troyer line? There was a joke that was... Rob just couldn't terrible keep, joke. He, he, no, no, he, he joke. just couldn't keep it inside of him because okay. he has no. I know he could. Yeah, let him let him express it that way. We'll see at the end of the news if you want to reveal it. Okay, you'll make the call. Oh, I'll, I'll know, make it totally that's your that's call. That's a new sponsor for the news. You make the call. Yeah. You make the call. <laughs> <laughs> not to be not to be confused with. Is it just me? <laughs> no, it's a different uh, thing. They say Netflix and Hulu keeping us on the couch. <laughs> Uber and Lyft keep us from needing to walk. Grubhub and Postmates keep us from having to cook healthy meals. Even online shopping keeps us from having to go to the store and walk around. Basically, it causes all the be lazier than ever before and that's a damn hard pattern to break out of so that's why we are gaining weight what mm. say you gentlemen do you agree not agree what's going on i agree i mean we have become really a nation of leisure look at us even from 50 years ago i mean it's, mm-hmm. it's, people are getting heavier because things are getting easier there is a lot if you if you've ever been to europe or you've ever been to south america there's so much walking involved yes. mm-hmm. that's why they eat Full family meals for every meal, and they still stay skinny. Mm-hmm. You are Those probably uh, ahead of the curve because you live in a metropolitan. Yeah, you live in a city. You do more walking. I force when myself I'm in the city, to walk home walking. even when it's like cold outside because it's right. the only exercise I'm, I've been getting outside of the 21 day fix beforehand. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. But now even at home, there's a gym that I just canceled. Li- I want to say across the street from my house, and there's one across from the office. Mm-hmm. But right. I rather Two work. I rather yeah. work out at home. Mm-hmm. Beach body oh, yeah. on demand. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. There you go. So you don't need to be lazy. I I love that. A 40 year old woman named Sharon Dobbins. She's from Phoenix, Arizona. She wanted her 16 year old son to wake up early on Sunday to go to church for Easter, mm. or as she says, "quote I said, get up. It's Jesus's day." <laughs> <laughs> But he wouldn't get out of bed, and she asked and asked, and then she did what every good Christian mother does. She tased him on the leg. 
Oh. He told her he was calling the cops. Good for him. And she told him, quote, you can call the police, UPS, DPS, whoever you want to call. Police were on the phone. And I told the dispatcher, I told her, you need to be with Jesus right now. Uh, that's what the woman said. <laughs> when the nice. cops got there, Sharon said she didn't tase her son. She just sparked the taser to wake him up. What's she doing with a taser? What's she doing, 40-year-old woman with a taser? Uh, but he had two marks on his leg from oh, where she zapped him, so yeah. she was arrested. She spent 12 hours in jail on Easter before she got out. She's facing a char- uh, child abuse charges with intent to cause harm because she tased her, uh, her son because he wouldn't go see But Jesus. the good thing about the son is he has risen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good Easter, Joe. Thank you. Uh, and now a little something, something. A man named Stephen Gayton was golfing in Merseyside, England, on Monday when he noticed something. Keep the kids away from the radio right now. Okay. Please. This is kind of a grown-up story. Uh, it was unexpected, and it was going on on the ninth hole across from him. Um, there was a guy who was uh, pantless, and he was having oh. fun with the hole, uh, the golf hole, uh, on the ninth oh, hole. Wow. Everyone, uh, everyone shows their excitement for the Masters differently, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> now, here's the part where you really have to be careful. Right? Okay. Radio stations, just be aware of this. Please. Uh, Pony, I, I'll do my very best. It's hard. That wasn't the only thing going on. That wasn't the only there's, thing going on. There's more? There was something. Uh, he had the... He had... Ah, uh, boy. He had the flagpole involved in the activity, too. Oh, but no. the flagpole was doing the opposite of what he was doing to the golf hole. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Or the compliment. It, it was, uh, <laughs> anyway, he, uh, the, the, the guy, yeah. uh, Stephen Gaten pulled out his phone, started recording, and he wasn't the only one. Uh, the guy was also filming himself <laughs> while he was doing this. Yeah. There is no word if the uh, English cops are going to track him down. Uh, it should be easy, though, if you just follow the balls. That's uh, what I would say with that particular crime. I like that. Uh, A that tradition was, unlike know, any other, Mike. Yeah. What's That's it impressive. say about me? It didn't bother me all that much when I was just doing that to the hole. But when he when he got the flagpole, well, that means I'm the way I am. And yes. we're all the way we are. Yeah. So, you know, one man's fun is another man's also Do you think that's the reason they don't let cell phones at Augusta? Yeah. Because and they don't no, want stuff like it that is to the be reason. filmed. It's, it is the reason that when I take the flag out, when my friends are putting, I never put the end of the flag in my mouth. Uh, we will take a uh, break. Smart. And, 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 and Godspeed to Vern for you. We'll, we'll be, did, you want to, did you want to do the joke? Yes. Okay. Just because you need to know this is what's happening inside this man's <laughs> mind. This while is from Rob Spiewak. Yes. He wrote it. You're going to deliver it. Um, Vern Troyer is really into mini golf. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll be right That's back. horrible. It's, it's, it's not funny. funny. <laughs> Hello, friends. This is Mike O'Mara, here to tell you that we haven't found a cure for Tommy Langathemia, but there is hope with your support. If you listen to The Mike O'Mara Show on 1630 KCJJ every weekday, we may eventually find a cure for Tommy Langathemia. And if you want to know more about Tommy Langathemia, I urge you to listen to Captain Steve in the morning on 1630 KCJJ. Peace out. Wow. What was I drinking when I did that promo? It that, like 500 I, years old. I was uh, digging for something and I ran into that. I said, that deserves a uh, throwback spin. I like Daddy that. Daddy might really need to do some new promos. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Do people bother you? Oh. Do little things that folks do drive you nuts mm. while not seeming to bother anyone else? Do you ever wonder, is it just me? <laughs> yes, if life's minor day-to-day issues make you want to stab your fellow man in the eye with a knitting needle, then the Mike O'Mara Show is here for you. Starting Friday at 9 a.m., we will be opening our phones for a brand new call-in feature, Is It Just Me? Write that time down. Come on, slackers. 9 a.m. The Friday phones will be open at 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673. We'll need a better effort than we had today. Thank you very much. Call in with your gripes, your slights, and your fights, and we'll have a frank discussion to help you, to sympathize with you, and most importantly, to judge you. <laughs> Call us Friday morning and find out if it's just you or we're like you. 
<laughs> on the uh, Mike O'Mara show, and I thank you. Let's open up the audio vault for today. This is Wednesday, April 4th, 2018, Rob Spiewak. This is so weird that I had to play the tape. It involves Dr. Henry Heimlich. It involves Megyn Kelly. Mm. It involves people that fall asleep while they're driving, and it involves the show Happy Days. Wow. Did you know that Potsy, Anson Williams, is second cousins with Dr. Henry Heimlich, the man who invented the Heimlich maneuver. Oh, wow. And Anson Williams that? was on Megyn Kelly to sell a brand new product, which I actually ordered this morning through our Amazon link. I want you to hear this little, this is fascinating to me. Dr. Heimlich of Heimlich. Heimlich Maneuver is your cousin? He's my second cousin, but I've called him uncle since I was born. Okay. In fact, Dr. Heimlich, Heimlich Maneuver, years ago, I almost killed myself falling asleep at the wheel. And I told Dr. Heimlich, and he said, Anson, cut up a lemon, the citric acid, and the sour lemon will hit the lingual nerve on top of your tongue, and, and you'll you have awake? automatic reaction of adrenaline, nothing in your system. It will save your life. You'll, so I did that for years. Then I went in the product business, and we developed a product called Alert Drops. And anyone out there that knows people with drowsy driving, this will save their lives. Go to alertdrops.com. I like that. I know education. you're a paid post spokesman, but, but can I tell you, as somebody who has done yes. drowsy driving myself, yes. I gotta use this. I like this. And if oh. I don't have it handy, I'm just gonna suck on a lemon. But you may <laughs> save some lives. It's like a concentrated yeah. lemon drop. You know, you hear Megan you Kelly audio. Oh, when you horrible. hear Megan Kelly audio, you realize how the hell did she get where she got? I know. And you also realize that it's taken three months from her to be a political heavy hitter to hosting a Happy Days reunion. That's yeah, the curve exactly. that show has taken. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. the takeaway is, I ordered because sometimes I do get drowsy when I drive. So it's so like what a do little... you do? You put the drops in before you get in the car. If you start to get drowsy, you take it's like a medicine dropper. Well, if you of a start lemon to get concentrate... drowsy, you're gonna hit the pole before you. If you start to get drowsy, mm -hmm. I mean, where's the automatic feature with this? Well, according to Dr. Henry Heimlich, is that there is an instant reaction because of the tartness on the so lingual you, nerve. So you start to feel drowsy. And you take this and dropper. And you, take, and you take the drops, and then you, that gets you home? Is apparently that how that so. Works? I mean, I'll let you know. I should have it in a day or so. When do you, you get drowsy? Get yeah, you when do you get drowsy? Uh, when I drive home sometimes. Really? From yeah. here? Yeah, sometimes. It's the well, middle do you remember of the day. Me with the, do you remember me with the edge? Yeah, but you were waking up at like four in the morning and doing. I morning. get up at Do you know what time your brother gets up in the morning, Mister? Arrive at work at nine a.m. Do you know what time he gets up? Mike, if you what build time it, do you get up? What time come. do you get up, Rob? Four forty. <laughs> what? Four forty. What was the What was the throwaway that I missed? The I said if you over? build it, they would come. <laughs> I built it. What do you mean? They come to here. They come to me. Okay, no, but yes. I mean he. You. You. He. he I can completely empathize. With the fact that he gets drowsy on the way home because they he's up leave at four at, you leave at seven six thirty seven o'clock in the morning before seven every yes. day. Yes, why yeah. would you wake up at four forty? Well, here's something that we really don't have time to get into it, but there's something you should know. It, you can Google it. It's called show prep. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens before a radio all show. All I see is the stuff that comes on the complete sheet. That's oh, all I that's see. That's it. Okay, <laughs> please. And when do you oh, see wow. that? When you get here at nine oh one? No, I, I log in to look. Oh, Ever since you gave me access, I was like, oh, I've heard that. I know where that's coming from. That's okay. there. You know what? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should get drowsy on the way home. I, I wish I, I didn't. I used to get drowsy. You guys remember the ice cream yeah. stories? Yeah, you live in a, I an elementary it, school I would, parking lot. I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make I would be so tired because I was getting four and a half hours of sleep. If you get that sleep, you've driven drowsy, Oscar. You know. Yeah, but I've about. driven drowsy. I get, when I'm driving drowsy, I tur I put down the windows, and then I get as much stimulus stimulation well, as possible. I and did then everything you can talk. like that. I would. One of the things I would do would be scream. I would go la. Yeah, la, yeah, la, 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 la. I think the idea of reaching feeling. for drops is more dangerous than actually. I think I want to hear the results, and if and if it's the result is, is you know, let us know if you think it. You know, because when Alert you're drowsy, drops. there's <laughs> nothing that helps. No. So, Rob, you'll be able to test this. I will. Have, have you ever pinched yourself? I pinched enough, I've pinched myself in the past. I smacked myself in the yeah, head. I've I have it. done so many I sing things. along to songs out loud. I, I, I got a McDonald's windows. ice cream cone in the parking lot of a uh, of a middle school. Very mm -hmm. strange. I, <laughs> I journal <laughs> about how much I hate my coworkers. I do everything. Yes. <laughs> there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. All oh, right. Uh, let us know on. how it works. Uh, this is a trending one on uh, the YouTube yesterday. This is not a sweet grandma. She was yelling at her kid or her grandchild because she didn't know how to use a rotary phone. Oh. She had an old school rotary phone. Yeah. This is not a sweet grandma. What is this? What you mean, what is it? That's a phone. What you mean, what is it? How do you use it? What do you mean, how do you use it, Aaron? It got letters on it like you can text, but you can't text on the phone. You ain't never seen a phone before. That's all that technology. Wow. 
You dial the numbers, Ari. What do you mean? How do you dial the You got to dial the number. It's a phone. <laughs> See, you all don't know technology. It's a phone, Ari. Seven. That's how you do it. No, you don't. What are you doing? Pushing your finger in the hole trying to dial. You got to spin the wheel like Wheel of Fortune, girl. <laughs> you put your finger in whatever number and then One. you dial, Ari. No, you have to take it all the way around. What's wrong with y'all kids? That's the phone. Yeah, you got to spin it like Wheel of Fortune, Mike. Yeah, boy. Is a rotary phone even efficient these days? No, no right? not even close. Yeah. No. But if someone has it, you should know how to use it. But you it. should well, probably you throw it away see them very now. often. My mother didn't have them. She, she's dead. My mom has one that's a retro restored one from the 40s that's really cool. But we never dial out on it because it's just there hanging on the wall. It looks awesome. Yeah. It's an old phone. <laughs> yeah, boy. Retro restored. What is with him today? I just don't. This is. You know I, what? Don't even answer. Why? Why? I want you to name why the sound. Would somebody, why would somebody have a phone on the wall that's never been. That's supposed to be used. Doesn't make sense. Can you name that sound? Yes. Go ahead. That's from uh, a game show, right? No. I thought, you know, I was. This would something you get. Sorry you blew it. Sorry. That is the uh, startup sound for Windows 95. And oh. what was trending on uh, YouTube yesterday, Ooh. someone took it and slowed it down 4,000%. Oh. And it's almost hypnotic. It goes on for about four minutes. <laughs> give Mike. Me a, give me a lemon drop. Mike. Dubbed. You need alert drops. Uh, uh, Christy Brink. <laughs> you need alert drops. <laughs> that so is anyway, soothing. It is really soothing, it is, right? It's really soothing. Mike! Mike! Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Something more exciting. Nicole can, Kidman. <laughs> alert drops. <laughs> we close with a two-parter. Uh, this was an amazing, it was called a solo alley oop slam dunk. What this guy did. Mike! That's an archer. What? <laughs> an archer. Wow. Yeah, I go back retro. Yeah, That's my do. retro one. That yeah. is a retro it's one. It's probably older than me, but I still, mm. you know, back in the day, you know, fa you know, fatal attraction. Oh yeah. She was yeah, the, the, the lady that stayed at home that was better looking than going close. Oh, is... the wife? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Ann Archer. Saw her, saw her years ago too at a uh, at a golf resort. Saw her right in front of me. Oh, I was like Then off through. to the ninth hole? Ann Archer. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah, had yeah, the, the flag. The, thank you. Yeah, she had the flag. All right, come on. So this kid from outside the uh, three-point line, threw the shot up, bounced off the backboard, then he jumped up, caught it, and slam dunked it. That's a great shot, but what's great is the reaction to the kid that was filming it. <laughs> Which to me suggested when Tom and Jerry, when the mouse would, uh, the mouse Jerry would give Tom a hot foot. Let's close right. with this. It sounds like that. By the way, can you play? Can, can, there it is. Go ahead. Can I'm you sorry? play it one more time? Because this is the same reaction I get every day from my coworkers when I arrive at the studio. Okay. <laughs> Mike's coming in right now. And he opens the wall. <laughs> and there you go. Right. Okay. Flipping day. So today we close with the sound of the, a hot foot from a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Burning. Burning. <laughs> Say, something is burning around here. So that's what it suggested to me anyway. That is awesome. That is your magic audio vault. Stay alert, everybody. Have a good that's Wednesday. Right. Okay, got to get back to the 55 and over community. Thanks for joining <laughs> us for another episode. Be sure and get our TMOS app and unlock the Mike O'Mara Show 24 hours a day. Send your messages for our Tuesday mailbag to Rob with an extra B, MikeOmeraShow.com. All regular mail, TMOS Box 32101. Washington, D.C., 2007. Each day, 96 Americans are killed by guns. Visit every town for gun safety to find out how we can end gun violence in America. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us again for the best part of your day, the Mike O'Mara Show. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment.